look. So today is day number four using the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. Today's look is going to be focused on using the reds and the mattes in the palette. Uh, while I feel like my previous looks kind of focused on different ways that you can use this palette, I did want to kind of take it back to basics and do something that when I first got this palette I was like, oh I have to do this. And the reason why I wanted to do this look, which you may have seen some other people do uh, similar looks too, is because I wanted to focus on just how easy uh, and quick using like wonderfully pigmented matte eyeshadows can be. This palette's mattes are just like mint in my opinion and they blend so easily and they're so quick to use and you kind of can just put it on and not have to think about it. So I did just want to do this look to kind of show you just how easy it can be and if you guys want to know how to do it then just stay tuned and here's the tutorial. Alright so let's get into the shadows that I'm going to use today. I'm going to be using Rilgar which is the gorgeous matte orange. I'm going to be using red ochre. I'm also going to be using burnt orange and golden ochre. Then a little bit of cypress umber. That's an option for you if you want to darken up the outer crease. Someone's seriously mowing their lawn right now. And then for brushes, I'm only going to use two. So it's a really, really simple look that hopefully everyone will be able to do. Uh, I'm using a flat shader brush. This is a MAC 239 as well as a MAC 217. Alright, so first color we're going to use is Rilgar, and I'm just going to pick up some of that shade right on my 217. So I just want to show you guys just how wonderfully these colors blend together, it's a little insane. Alright, so I'm just going to place that just right in my crease, and like that's literally going into the color once. <laughs> it's so, so, so pigmented. Um, don't be scared of them though. So while it is that pigmented upon like literally just dusting the color on the brush, you can still very much blend it out, so just keep that in mind. So don't be scared of using strong pigmented colors. Dust my brush off, pick up a little bit of burnt orange, and I'm going to use this kind of right on the edge to help blend that color out. And then to blend that out even further, I'm going to dust off the brush a little bit more, and then I'm going to go into Golden Ochre that kind of yellowy shade, which I really like using as kind of like a transition shade or, you know, to blend out all of the warm shades. Now I'm taking this up really high. If you don't want to take that up as high, what you can do is you can always use a big fluffy brush, go into a little bit of tempura because at least for my skin tone, that shadow kind of acts as an eraser color. And then you can put that on the brow bone and blend that down a little bit if you feel like you took it up a little bit too far, which is kind of what I did. All right, next we're going to take our paddle brush and go into red ochre. This is probably my favorite shade in the palette, uh, favorite matte shade at least. It's beautiful. And I can just remember a time where trying to find a matte red eyeshadow, let alone a good matte red eyeshadow, was like nearly impossible and now I just feel like there's one in every palette. It makes my 14 year old self so happy. <laughs> you can just see that I literally dipped into that brush twice, covered my entire lid and you just want to be sure to pat that on as opposed to blend just because that color if you do get followed is a little bit more of a pain in the ass to clean up because you're brushing away, you're brushing away red which can you know make you look red. And then I'm also just going to take the edge of that brush and this is going to go right underneath my eye as well. And then using the same 217 that we used, I'm going to kind of do the opposite. So I put the red ochre there. Then I'm going to go into a little bit of Rilgar, which is the orange. And blend that out. Dust off my brush again. And then I'm going to go into a little bit of golden ochre. And then just blend that out even further. I'm also going to take that and blend that right into the inner corner. And then just to really blend everything completely, I'm just going to take a little bit more of Rilgar, which is the orange, and I'm just going to help to blend that out. But you can see that like even without blending that red into the orange, there was almost like no seamless line between the color that I placed on the lid and then the red that I placed. Okay, so then this is an option if you want to do this. Um, I like doing it because it adds just a little bit of dimension as opposed to just a red eyeshadow look, so it's entirely up to you if you want to do this. But I'm going to take a little bit of Cypress Umber, which is the dark brown, and I'm picking up just a little bit of it. Be sure to tap that off because you don't want to go in too heavy. Uh, this is going to go right into the outer corner of my eye. 
even that had like a lot of pigment and then that is it for the eyes super quick super super easy like I've never dealt with matte eyeshadows that blend this well ever <laughs> that I have tried so far um, I'm planning on picking up some of the Viseart Visart palettes whatever you want I think it's Viseart but I don't know how to pronounce anything ever um, but I'm planning to pick some of those up or maybe just the one palette uh, for the VIB sale so um, I should have that soon enough but uh, yeah, I've never dealt with matte eyeshadows that have blended as well as um, Anastasia eyeshadows have. Um, I'm talking these ones as well as the Master Palette by Mario. It's just easy. Everything is so easy. I think for beginners, that palette is just brilliant. But anyway, I'm going to get into that in my review. Alright, so the next on my waterline, I decided to brighten things up just a little bit. So I'm taking, this is NYX Wonder Pencil. It's like a concealer pencil kind of deal. Uh, this is going to go right on my waterline just to brighten my eye up just a little bit. And then I'm going to apply a coat of mascara and come back and show you how to finish up the rest of the face. Alright, so then moving on to the rest of the face, I'm just picking up a little bit of the middle shade from Kat Von D, using it as my contour. And then for blush, I'm going to be using NARS Orgasm. This is one of my favorite blushes of like all time. I just lost mine and I finally found it again. <laughs> It's just nice and subtle, like you can build it up, but it's like, it's blush, it's there, it's pretty, but it's not like over the top. And then for highlight, which I feel really pairs well with NARS Orgasm, I'm using Kat Von D's Thunderstruck Eyeshadow. And this is going to pull some of that gold tone from the, um, the blush as well. And then for lips, as always, you have options. A dark red lip looks really good with this. An orange lip looks really good with this. I've done it with black. I've done it with dark green. Um, I've done this look with pretty much everything at this point. Um, today, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to actually do a blue. I don't know. I just wanted to do a blue. This color happens to be Backlash from Makeup Monsters. Alright, so then this is the final look with this uh, funky lip color. So obviously you can do whatever you'd like for the lips. This just happened to be what I was drawn to today. So yeah, hopefully this tutorial today got to show you guys just how easy this palette is to use and just how simple and like quick it can be to make um, a beautiful smoked out look. Uh, honestly, like I said earlier in the video, these are some of the best mattes that I've gotten to work with thus far that I've tried. Um, they're just so opaque when you put them from like brush to lid and I feel like you can get like just the maximum amount of color. It's kind of one of those things where what you see is what you get in terms of the color in the pan. Um, which is awesome because I mean that makes this palette like so so worth it and uh, I think it's a great palette for beginners as well and just so you guys know my videos go up at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time uh, I, the reason why I picked that time is because I love watching videos in the morning before I go to work and so that's typically uh, what I do and I like watching them on the bus <laughs> so um, I picked 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time that way you guys know uh, Monday to Saturday those videos will be there at that time please leave me any comments down below what you think about that as well as any comments about this look video how you guys are doing in life whatever leave anything down below you guys know i love responding to comments and until my next video i'll talk to all you soon bye